Hello singers, me. I would really like to share something with you. Look at this. This is a very old paper I've been given about 25 years ago by a great coach, vocal coach, whose name is Palma Toscani. She was born in France, so she's French, but she's been living for years in New York and she's a very a wonderful vocal coach and performer and uh, she she's the first coach that ever taught me how important was Italian diction for singers but not only for singers who are not Italian native Italian but also for us it is very important because we have to know what we are saying not only because of the sound, but also because of the meaning. We are approaching a language. This language, in your case, is not your native language. So, you will feel confused because sometimes you will, you will hear very famous singers saying the same aria with different pronunciations. So, what do we do here? I am going to tell you how the um, aria has to be pronounced according to a um, so-called standard Italian uh, that is something that uh, we can find in dictionaries and uh, so the, the strict rule of diction. But this language, the language of singers, is a language itself. So we cannot consider standard Italian as the, the only rule we have to respect. Because, of course, if you hear native Italian singers, you will listen to their, the difference of their pronunciations because they do respect their own personal accent. When you are born speaking a language with your accent, and you are taught in a very refined way with a wonderful technique, a vocal technique. When you are a great singer, is it really necessary to change those mistakes that you make in considering the standard Italian? It is quite impossible to change those mistakes that we do because it will also affect the sound of a very good singer. I have read uh, a very interesting little, uh, little consideration written by Paolo Zetta. He was attending, uh, as a teacher of course, but he was attending a lesson given by a non-Italian maestro uh, to a non-Italian singer. And he noticed that the singer couldn't make it to make a beautiful sound with that uh, with a, a correct vowel and uh, the maestro looked at him a little bit because he knew that he was there but he suggested the girl to change a little bit the vowel because her voice was going to sound better and of course it was better so in this case Paolo Zeta said I was happy that he did that because he had a, a, a great idea we cannot be so strict Okay, so let's respect the differences, um, but we have to know how the spoken language sounds. Because if we don't know that, when we do this adjustment of the vowels, we will end up changing the, the meaning of the word, or maybe of a whole sentence. Putting all the words together and changing vowels and consonants, it would absolutely be a mess and nobody would ever understand anything. So let's keep in mind a little bit of freedom, but the words have to be understood. The sound has to be free. The technique has to be uh, at its best. We have to respect all these things and a very good vocal coach 
can help a, a good singer to become a great singer. Okay, so here my work is to help you um, get in, in, in touch with spoken Italian, considering that you probably don't have this chance um, around you or easily, so you can listen how the language sounds and if you really think the right sound of a language, then you won't go too far from that while adjusting your voice to the technique. Okay, you know, we all we, we have already uh, talked about vowels and we know that we have just five A, E, E, O, U. A, E, E, O, U. But actually, they are not only five, and uh, they are seven. Many singers sometimes change the vowels, even uh, they don't even, when they sing, they don't even pronounce the way they do when they speak. Because it is something um, that helps them with the sound, for the technique, for the beauty of the melody. But how can a non-native speaker know that? Well, I'm here for that, I think, with John Mario, we're here to do that. We are here to let you know how the, the language sounds, actually. <laughs> and then we may, we may comparison with lots of singers singing, very famous singers singing uh, arias, so that we can compare the way they change the language, it's okay, and, and to consider what may be very beautiful and what can be sometimes really funny. Okay, I really hope you found this video useful. I thank you very much for watching it. If you need some special arias, please ask. I will do it for you. And uh, if you want to comment, we can uh, talk to each other. If you need personal vocal coaching about Italian diction, you can contact me by email and we can meet on Skype. If you want to support my project, you can on Patreon and PayPal. So let's keep in contact. We have a lot to do together. I'll see you soon. Good singing, everybody. Bye-bye.